Hey y'all, so I wanted to originally do this video for you all on my camera, but the batteries are dead and I mean, it can take pictures, but it won't do a long video. So, um, pretty much this video is just going to be about how I felt like my first week back in school at SSU was and yeah, so let's go ahead and get into this whole video. Okay. All right. To start off, um, to start off, uh, starting from move-in day, um, that was real sweet, short, and simple. Thank God I had housing. My heart goes out to all of you guys who had to sit in that hot, um, housing building. Um, yeah. And I, my heart also goes out to you all who have to stay at ASU as well because I know that's hard, especially if you have an eight o'clock class like myself. Like I can just imagine what you're going through with all of that. But um, anyways, moving day was really nice and simple. I moved in on Thursday, um, packed on Thursday, and you guys saw that in my SSU V block coming back here. Um, after that Thursday, um, Friday, what did I do Friday? I think I just did a couple of errands. I just ran around, got more things from my room, grocery shop, and I don't remember what I did. Last weekend, all was kind of a blur. I I don't remember. Okay, so moving on. Anyways, so um, I am taking 15 hour credit classes. If I'm saying that right, and I have two classes on Monday, Wednesday, and on Friday I only have one class, and on Tuesdays and Thursdays I have three classes. So on Monday I had that 8 o'clock class. Now it is really, really hard for me to wake up in the morning. Surprisingly, I beat my alarm clock on Monday. I don't know if it was because it was the first day of school, and we all know how that is. You go to bed, you think about it, you're scared you're going to oversleep. So I think I was more scared I was going to oversleep because I know over the summer I was waking up at like 3 in the afternoon, and me waking up at like 6.30, I just knew in my head that wasn't going to happen. So I kind of really didn't sleep. But my 8 o'clock class was cool. Um, I kind of hate that I have a teacher. Like on my Monday classes, and Monday, Wednesday, and Friday classes, I have foreigner teachers. And it's just really aggravating. Like it's to the point like when I'm looking at the teacher, I, I can kind of understand them. But the moment I look away, it sounds like they're speaking gibberish. And I don't know what they're talking about. So... Yeah, that's the only issue I have with my 8 o'clock classes. I can't really understand what he's saying, but if I'm looking at him, I, I got it. So it's like, I'm really going to have to pay attention in that class. And after my 8 o'clock, thank God, I get to come back in the room, go to sleep, and I have my 3 o'clock class. Um, and she's a foreigner as well. I can understand her a little bit more, though, if I'm not looking at her. So it's it's kind of okay in that class. Um, and then on my Tuesday, Thursday, I kind of couldn't get up for some odd reason for my 9.30 class, even though I slept in a little bit later. Um, I couldn't get up. But, um, she's cool. It's a big class. Um, and yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that. Then I have my 12.30 class in pain, and that class is cool. She seems cool so far. And then I have my, um, 2 o'clock biology class, and he's a foreigner as well. So it's like... <laughs> can't really understand him all that well either but i'm gonna pray to god because i cannot afford to have a bad semester so yeah so um anyways um i feel like my week was cool the only complaint i really have is teachers in these books um it kind of makes me mad like after the first day of class the next class period they expect you to have the book Really? Who about to pull out a hundred to two hundred dollars for one book that you're gonna open like one to four times? It's not worth it. So I order all my books online, but it takes like about a week for them to get here. So I only have two of my books and I'm waiting for three more to come and then I'll be straight. Uh I like where I'm staying. I stay in Richard Wright all the way in the back. So you can imagine how that walk is for me. I hate it. I thought the flick was a long walk. <laughs> no. 
Mm. My legs be sore, so sore, y'all. Like, y'all have no idea. And shout out to everybody who has spoken to me and who watches my YouTube videos. I greatly, 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 greatly appreciate y'all. Y'all make me feel so special when y'all come up to me and you're like, you're that girl on YouTube. I'm like, yeah. I don't know if y'all notice I'm shy, like, in person. Like, I kind of be like... Thank you. Like, I don't really know what to say. But um, once again, thank you guys so much for watching my videos. And I hope you tune in to watch this one to hear me say thank you to you all. You guys are all so beautiful. Like, for real. Especially the girl with the mohawk. Oh, my God. She is bad. She bad. She got her little makeup. Be cute. But, yes. Thank you guys for watching. And let me think. Is there anything else? Oh, let me show y'all what my closet looks like now that it's organized. Okay, so I just ended up putting my suitcase at the bottom and I hung my belts up on the rack and then I have dresses and pants and leggings and vests and jumpers on the bottom. Then up at the top I have jackets, long sleeve shirts, short sleeve shirts and um what is it called? Uh no sh no no shoulder shirts. Oh my gosh, I can't think of it. Tank tops? Yeah, there we go, yeah. And tank tops and then my shoes. And yeah. So that's what my closet looks like now that I organized So if you guys it. have any more questions or concerns or anything as such, or if any of you guys that attend SSE want to be featured maybe in one of my videos and we can just have a ramble together on camera and then put it on YouTube, um, definitely comment down below. And I'm so sorry I haven't gotten to the College Life vlogs. I am going to do them. It's just so hot outside, like... I just don't, I don't know. It's just a lot of effort to hold a camera and then I'm going to feel awkward like walking around on campus like this and people are going to be looking at me like, what is she doing? Is she talking to herself? Like, I don't know. Y'all think maybe I should do it on my iPad? Maybe it's more easier and secrete to do it on my iPad or should I just, you know, put on my big girl panties and do it on my camera? But I am going to get to it. Um... Also, can y'all please comment down below what exactly you want to see in the College Life vlogs? I don't know if y'all just want to see, like, how it is when I get up out of bed, get dressed for class, walk to class, eat lunch, partying. I don't know. Like, what do y'all want to see? Because I really don't know. That's kind of also another reason why I haven't gotten to it. But anyways, as always, thank you guys for watching. And remember to check me out on Instagram at eclegnista Jr. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.